Hello viewers, for DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be showing you how to test the condition of your vehicle's battery. Typically, a car battery will last anywhere from 3 to 5 years, sometimes even longer, depending on its use, climate, quality, etc. The battery in the Tacoma lasted about 7 years, and the one in my 733i is at least 10 years old. I haven't replaced it since I bought the car. I'll show you a couple different ways to test a vehicle's battery. The equipment is affordable and can be done at home. The reason that I have these tools is that two different places in the past, one was an auto parts store and the other was a repair shop who was a dealer for a specific battery brand. Long story short, they both said my battery was faulty and tried to talk me into buying a new one. First is locating the battery in your vehicle. They're typically found under the hood, but can also be found in other locations such as under the rear seat or trunk area. I prefer removing the battery from the vehicle as it's just a safety precaution and it's a little easier to work with. You can also eliminate the need of going through a battery clamp connection, which may have issues where it can negatively affect the testing. Disconnect the battery terminals using the appropriate tools. Start with the negative terminal first to reduce the chance of a short when using your tools. Once that negative clamp has been removed, then move on to the positive. And finally is removing the hold down clamp. Styles will vary. This has a single bolt with a plastic wedge style clamp holding the battery in place. When charging or testing a battery, always do this in a well-ventilated area so there's no risk of fumes building up, which could risk an explosion. Finally, remove the battery. Keep it level as you may risk spilling out any acid from the vent hole. This can cause damage to your vehicle, clothing, or even harm you. A worn or faulty battery will cause no starts, engine turning over slow, especially in the cooler weather, battery discharging quickly, electrical malfunctions in your vehicle, and possibly a warning light on your gauge cluster. Before testing the battery, we'll need to ensure it has a good charge. Using a multimeter, set it to the two-digit DC voltage setting. Touch the appropriate probes on the negative and positive terminals. Here is a chart listing the voltage along with the current charge percentage. A fully charged battery would be 12.7 to 13.2 volts. A completely dead or discharged battery would see a voltage of 11.9 or lower. With the battery being only 11.6 volts, I'll have to charge it in order to get an accurate test. Next is determining the CCA or cold cranking amps of the battery. Each vehicle, depending on the engine size, will require a certain battery size beyond the exterior dimensions. Cold cranking amps is the factor used. For this battery, it's 875 CCA and this can be found on the informational tags on the top or side. Cold cranking amps is defined as how many amps a battery is able to supply in cold weather climate. This would be based on a temperature of minus 18 degrees Celsius or 0 degrees Fahrenheit. First is using a digital battery analyzer. This is by OEM Tools model number 24359 from Mobile Distributor Supply. A link to this will be included in the video description. Beyond analyzing a battery, it can also test the vehicle's charging system and starter. Simply connect the negative and positive clamps to the correct battery terminals, red for positive and black for negative. The screen will illuminate and it will show the battery's current charge. Right now it's above 13 volts as I had it on charge a few minutes ago. The battery should be above 12.4 volts for testing. Next is selecting the battery test from the main menu selection, then hit enter. Select the type of battery you're testing. For this, we're testing a regular liquid battery which consists of lead plates and sulfuric acid. This is the most common type of battery used in vehicles. Then select Enter. After that, select the SAE battery rating. This is a North American standard used for battery testing. However, this may vary in other parts of the world. CCA is an SAE standard. Now is entering in the cold cranking amps rating. This is the number on the informational tag that was shown just a moment ago. Finally enter again and the analyzer will perform the test on the battery. As you can see the final results is a faulty battery. The battery is only able to provide 566 cold cranking amps at its current charge. State of health is 64% and the state of charge is 100%. Internal resistance is 6.36 milliohms. Resistance does have importance in a battery. The older a battery becomes, the more resistance it may have, and this would indicate it's coming to an end of its life cycle. But resistance does vary based on the construction of a battery from new, number of plates, and even temperature, which is why this isn't a commonly used value for determining the condition of a battery. 
Next is using an analog tester. This has an element inside. When a load is placed on the battery, the element will heat up and you can sometimes feel the heat through the vents in the case. This tester can be used to test the vehicle's charging and starting system as well. However, it may not be as user friendly than compared to the digital version and you can see it's quite a bit bigger. The switch is used to activate the test, hold it for 10 seconds and monitor the gauge. With some of these analog gauges, they also need to be zeroed and there is usually an adjustment for this. Connect the clamps on the appropriate battery post just like before, black for negative and red for positive. The meter will automatically work once hooked up and we can see the current charge. It's just under 13 volts using the needle and scale at the top of the gauge. Now pressing the switch, this is a momentary switch so you need to hold it in place for 10 seconds. Monitor the needle, it'll most likely drop. With the battery being 875 cold cranking amps, watch the needle reference in the green stepped area section at the 900 value section. 875 is closer to 900 than 800. The needle does drop and as you can see it's falling into the yellow section meaning the battery is on the weaker side. When the temperature drops in the winter season this is when you'll typically see problems with an already aging battery. Even new batteries are affected by cold climates. Whenever testing a battery, it's always important to ensure the battery isn't frozen as well. New videos are released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.